guys, it's just a joke. Don't think about the performance. Maybe we should dedicate one of our Thursdays in the second season to learning the spaghetti break. As long as, it's, as, long as it doesn't take too long, uh, so that you afterwards still have some time. I mean, like in the upcoming training season, one day we just go in if we've got time in it. We've got three months to learn the new lights around the syllabus and quite a bit of the SMS syllabus. Can you quickly explain the spaghetti thing? Um, do you remember that video I posted with the Red Arrows where it went up and then they oh, split yeah, off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. That's the spaghetti break. I'm more kind of pretty good guy. Palms are sweating, mum's spaghetti. If I suddenly don't talk no more, it's probably because I died. Just say. <laughs> no one I see about that. I've been cheating that for about at least four times now. Well, all of us have to put it up When you fly slalom between the trees, then then you're at a good altitude. Like in and up though, I'd be happy flying low level and being able to get like deeper within a sand mess. Right? So that like 119th down to do like so much leg work. And take less advantage than fly around high do up high do that. Mm. Pre planned strike. I, I'd much rather like just drop two one thousand pounds, say, so we've got the fuel to be able to fly low in, than sit around up high all day. Surgical strike. <laughs> oh, this makes me kind of want to fly the Apache as well, fly around here. Right, this is whirly death machine territory here. Radar hellfires and the radar, and we'll be fine then. We have one, and it's actually really good. Um, it basically just sends like the coordinates of where you're looking to the missile, and then the missile flies it, turns on its seeker, goes ah. There's a tank shield object at where I was told to fly. That must be the target. Is it like the harpoon that can it like lock on the same target multiple times? Um, I think if like there are multiple think it's targets, more very close. Or do you think it's more no. selective? Because that's the idea of a convoy. It's probably more selected than that. I think it is. But I'm not entirely sure how it works. Okay, we've got the reservoir and then there'll be a river at the end of it. I just come down then after this. Do you want to tank or after? We'll 
gonna need to if we're gonna hit the range. Okay, then uh, I'm just gonna launch the tanker. So that's the airborne when we get there. Which range are we going to? Uh, 12A. Here's the dam, and now we're going to follow the river, because it'll give us a nice... a nice way to follow. Yeah, that's, uh, AUX button 1. Mate, I've, I've done a good job. <laughs> And now what I free want to steal it. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off, man. No, I was just still debating why we have Bengal slots instead of training slots. Okay, hard pull around this bend. Sorry about that. And that's fine. Well. No, there's literally slots called Bengals, mate. That's what we're using there. Oh, nice knife. They're actually called second OCU Bengals. Okay, uh, no, in between. But, but we can just it's rename them. sort of doing these turns, mate. Oh, this river's giving us a nice set of alleys. Doug, if you want, we can just rename the slots to Bengals. Do it. Roger. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have the VRK anymore, man? No, but I got the, the little note uh, scratch pad. Uh, I've always wanted to get VRK working properly. Because that looks really cool when you've got um, like an artist draw pad. And then it, it links it into, get into a VRK. Okay. So um, you can actually have break stuff with your leg. But I've never oh, really good at work. It's harder than I think. Oh, that looks... Oh, that sounds really cool, but you need the, to buy the hardware, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I tried sounds once great. and I put like a 20 pound, 20 pound of hammers on it. It just didn't work on that, so... I'll have to get like a more expensive tour pad or something. Yeah, but it sounds really great. Oh, it, it does. Okay, the river kind of goes that way, so let's come up and over. Oh, that's, that's an error. Right. That's an error in this thing. Okay. There is a bridge. The pillars are on the road. Mate, contact oh, bridge. This is Syria. No way. Yeah, yeah, I just saw it. Oh, the way it was going. No, yeah, there was a there was a bridge, and then the bridge had its. Uh, Pillars on the road, and the road was broken by the terrain or something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I see it now too. Do you remember the coordinates? Maybe I'll cross the book. I, I put down a oh, mark, down here. but you need to remind me afterwards. I took a screenshot. It's actually apparent, it's showing on the map. Okay, yes, yeah, taking us out of those valleys. Should we uh, maybe go back up and find another nice valley? Let me look on the map quick. I am 6.6. Oh, so well, much. Too much. Okay, so we can go back up that valley, and then uh, I know where that can go. And then we'll go ahead the tanker and get some fuel, go bomb stuff. Oh. We're not popping up, are we? 
No. Okay. I'm just looking for that reservoir again so we can go up it. Here we go. Found it. so nice to do. It's quite nice that we're like in the nice part of Syria where there's some trees and stuff. Yeah, not just sand. Oh, wrong way. Right. No, ready? We're going to go. I left this a bit late, lads, so it's going to be a bit fucky. Can we come around? Hey, from Across this hill here. Oh, train! Okay. <laughs> I'm just concealing myself within your smoke trails. <laughs> That's camouflage. So there'll be a fork in the valley soon. And then we can go left, and it will take us up another set of valleys, and then up to the lake. And we'll finish. <laughs> Do you think you can make like a small bomb against, uh, like a small countermeasure against uh, optically locked sounds? Like the Tunguska or the British I don't one? think so. Wouldn't really work. Because it's they rarely like come exactly right, from the rear. Oh, no, well, I mean, there can be like some kind of, you know, tanks have these smoke dispersers. Maybe there's like one on the airplane with the swivel and it shoots where it expects you in like five seconds. Yeah, because of the velocity of the plane it just end up behind it, no matter which way it yeah. comes out of the gun. Exactly, it will just be at the end uh, behind the plane afterwards. Yeah, but uh, just to break the lock on the turn. No, I mean, uh, before the smoke even would deploy, it would be behind the plane. Yeah, like before it comes out of the nozzle, say the smoke generator. I mean, when you shoot the rocket, it doesn't. No, you shoot the project that it explodes in there. Ah, it's not. Oh, that would kind of sick. So, you shoot it ahead like a rocket, and then it just makes a huge plume of smoke. Yeah, just to break the lock of uh, any optics you have, for example. I guess it wouldn't work. I'm, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't work. <laughs> yeah, well, it's really easy to counter, like, make a wider scan for the sample. Yeah, I mean, the plane would be as obscured for half a second max. Half a second, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, okay, um, <laughs> climbing? It's just an idea. Climbing Angel's 10. Uh, I'd still like to have it. <laughs> Even if it doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just to shoot it in the airfield during the rewind. <laughs> the Hornet doesn't get any flare rockets, right? No. No. The we don't get any market rockets. I know, we should get market rockets. We've got to sit down. Yes. We can have like yeah, one the guy has some in, uh, AFAC. And this is what I keep asking, can I fly A-10 on a hop as an AFAC? Come What's on, an AFAC? Uh, like an Airborne J-Tag. I see. Okay, lads, smoke off. Yeah, okay, let's smoke off. Flight 
back end is 42 Yankee, probably. Second sweep. <laughs> Say that again. 42 Yankee, 42. Love. Turning right. Kind of sorry about that. It's alright. No, I'm staying low. <laughs> and three shuttle. Pushing a bit more gas. Five is coming up. <laughs> Time to move. And five is set. You don't have to fly parade now.
Sorry, Chris, I have to push you. You weren't moving. <laughs> that's right, that's all right. Flight commercial on the left. Uh, passing on the Back, passing on the <coughs> You want me to hug up on the second spot here? Uh, give it my space here. Yeah. yeah, I did, but it was on the me. Okay. <laughs> Five is blind on two. Coming back. Oh, don't tell me this is some fucking A wax. No, 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 it's gotta be it. Make some room, Roy. Yeah. Um, leaving some. Hot. You confused him, Dave. Sounds the wrong switch down there. 
So we have one French guy and one that one in trouble with him. I mean, no, this is good. No, I mean, it's totally fine. Most of the tapes are just cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say. We don't have a. We're not going to be overweight to come home with full fuel even. So just take as much as you can. Uh, it's not that bad. It's not that drastic, mate. It's only like 4G. Right there, right? My G is just topped out at 4.5G at the moment. But uh, I sort of was the one leading. Five point five. Same. You were quite high though. Mm. Well, being that low, like, it's safe enough there. Yeah, true. More fun. But that's gonna be severely degrade any radar and also keep any longer range systems like an S300 from really getting you. We already had three guys dying tonight. We don't need more. True. Rip. Rip, Kevin. Yeah, the cloning center can only pop so much. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> They're all turning out in F 15s anyway. Seriously, if there is a, if there if there is an F fifteen airborne, do I have the permission to shoot? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Maybe we lock him up and intercept him. <laughs> He's way. not supposed to die. Uh, I think the weapons aren't killing anybody, right? I think our weapons oh, work yes. because we kill Red. <laughs> Don't tell me that, I have uh, plausible deniability. <laughs> <laughs> but, but because you can just say that your switch was cold, it's fine. <laughs> exactly. I checked, my nose was safe and my switch His was cold. His nose was cold. <laughs> Be a while if you don't say anything, it might be a while before he notices. I'll Just take a copy of his name and then I'll, I'll take a copy, a screenshot of his name, and then I'll post it in the Bengal channel and ask Doug if he's got a new recruit. <laughs> oh man, Drink a man, Mate, I'm still not full. Come on. This is so long. Oh, for fuck's sake. Nah, man. Wow. Back to the Stop new one. You. It's your third disconnect, man. That's it. <laughs> We're not disconnected once before, then. Yeah, you did. Huh? I got a bit low in it. Just saw the cold basket. You see, sir. Look at, look at the googly eyes.
Don't tell Tom about the googly eyes, otherwise that will be an alibi. Okay. Was that on purpose? <laughs> of course, God sake. No, I, I reckon Roy B and Roy L's not on purpose. He's just getting seen up. Just, just be aware I'm on 2.2. 2.2? You'll be fine, mate. <laughs> Alright, but if I, I think you're <laughs> Mate, it's but if the tanker is right. empty when, <laughs> when I'm getting there. Mate, this thing's made for fucking refueling B1s. It's got like 100,000 pounds. Yeah, it's at 77% seven, fuel. Mate, that's plenty. Yeah, that won't work. Fix the simple, like, logic issue. It's like, yeah. can't they literally go put, like, some form of logic wall down the center of the aircraft at the moment? And yeah, if it's you're, easy. Yeah, and if you're left with that wall, <laughs> it, activates, it activates a left basket, right? Exactly, yeah. And if you uh, abort, it doesn't abort the other guy's basket, remember that? Remember <laughs> oh that, God. <laughs> All I would like is some proper um, line physics. But the hose That's is coming kinda... soon, apparently. But by then we will be flying the Strike Eagle. I saw it on this NOR uh, simulator or whatever it's called, and it looks so good. And you realize when you watch that, you realize how wrong it is in DCS. Yeah, basket physics is meant to be something, including like aerodynamic, which is going to be awful. Because yeah, someone's probably going to end up, one day someone's probably going to end up putting a fucking tanker in like a, a fucking turbulence bubble. And because it's the DCS tanker, it won't fly out of that turbulence when they do IRL. But IRL, the pilots um, like have like a box assigned to them that's quite big. And then they like fly around like with the calmest spots in that box. Yeah. Is it gonna come soon, uh, just like other free DCS updates, like the retextures B-51 and B-1 and stuff like that? What happened to that? It disappeared. I remember them talking Doesn't about it. Like, they post every week about it. Every single week there was an entry about the Viking and the B-52 and the Lancer. I know, the the Viking is horrible as well because it's a fucking tanker. Can they not at least give us high res tankers? Yeah, the basket looks so terrible on the Viking. The Viking looks fucking Make terrible. It's kind of like toilet paper. Like, uh, like, the engines are hexagons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really terrible. I mean, it's even, even this tanker doesn't look good, to be honest. No, it doesn't. <laughs> No, I mean, it could be worse, I guess. It's not the S3. <laughs> exactly. Come on, guys, I'm getting a fuel low. What are you at, honestly? <laughs> 1 point 1.8. Uh, Chris, take my mask off on a board. Nah, he's fine. What are you at? Yeah, right, I'll you be at? fine. You're Don't the board. He'll take... He's no longer. He, no, no, dumb man. Rose on the left, so we should be able to Ah, just go finish, uh, Dave, it's alright. Hey, 
finish most of it. Alright, I guess. To be fair, we'll have, what, two, four, four Zuni runs and probably one bomb run. If we, uh, put our bombs on the interval. Right I think that's still a little uh, Well, Dave, you're probably going to be about 8,000 by the time we get there. Yeah, you'll be at 8,000 when we get to there. We'll probably want to top up then. I will move to left basket in this case. Dave, do you want to grab your top up? Was it 1.5? Yeah, I can hear yeah, that. I did it on 100. I got in a massive verbal dog fight. I had to fight, and I came out with like a thousand pounds, 100 miles away from the tanker. So I. Uh, Went all the way up to Angels 45. Got to the tanker when it was directly below me. Went to idle, uh, direct down dive. Pulled out the dive like about a mile behind the tanker with um, 200 pounds of fuel and plugged straight into the basket. I was at like 100 pounds at that point. And then you hear, then you hear return pre-contact, and then he hears the alarm. I think at, at that time dream. I had, at that time I had, um, uh, on my home test, ready pretty contact button. So I'll just get near there and just press it, like, constantly. <laughs> <laughs> Is this right observation? We're a little bit slack, but... <laughs> there was one up where I was with uh, you, Doc. And I think you got shot down by an SA-10, and I got damaged and was leaking fuel. And I made it back to Kasab with about, uh, yeah, something like 500 pounds. Mate, that wasn't the SA-10, that was the fucking man pad, remember? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, it was the man pad! Yeah, that's yeah. that one! <laughs> <laughs> the fucking... There oh were my loads God. of man pads. The man pad wedding. Jacob was like, oh, put, Jacob said to Gandalf, oh, put some map pads there just to give them a bit of a challenge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Gandalf right, we were that supposed as... to go in uh, low level uh, and mess up some Sams, I think. <laughs> <laughs> we just I was like, oh yeah, we'll take some AK and we'll like, fly so low that the SA-10 won't be able to get us. Next thing I know. I see Doc smoking and then just the back. But there I got home or took us up and when I was on the taxiway or at the parking my plane shut down itself because it ran out of fuel. If 
feels like it's slowed down there. Wait, right, does it feel slower than your mouse? Or have I just not tanked in that long? No, it's not. Uh, no, it tends to be slow. This is the moment where you relax and chill. Point six four Popeye nine thousand. Flight go for it. Copy. Uh, one's below seven thousand. Go 
Oh, he's, he's too good. Only talking he's, exact he's, lines. Yeah, he's too good for us peasants. Who are you talking? I mean, we're Chris crazy customers. Chris as in Bosch or Chris as in Calabas? Not the important one, the Bosch. I see. Wow. You're so dirty. So, we're doing the problem with the national. No. I'm getting us into position. Uh, you said you said we wanted to set the course. Yeah, one two zero. And we're gonna roll out three zero zero. It's gonna be a bit snappy. Out. Uh, 
Gonna fire all of them, or oh, I just did one south. I four. three tipping in. Copy. Four downwind. Three and hot to right there. Three's up. Two down right. One approach. Five crank. Five pulling up. One initial. Five is in hearts. Zero eight zero. Five is off. I think I have overtaken. One's cracking. Two approaching. Three down. How fast do we fly on the down? Two initial. Four fifty. Copy. One in hot. Zero eight zero. Three approaching. One off. Four away. So eight away. Two cracking. Dave, should we just uh, switch positions? I think we could possibly leave it a bit later. Three initial. Like the crank and pop. Five is approaching. Three popping. Two, Greg. 
One's in hot, zero eight five. Who's down with? Who's down One is approaching. Who's approaching? Five is down with. One initial. Two initial. Oh no. She didn't tackle me. Yeah, <laughs> pushing up. Do it, throwing guns. I'm <laughs> bombs, bombs, mate. No, I can't, I can't, I can't.
One's initial. Oh, that's pretty close. One's in hot zero five five uh, civilian convoy. Two in hot. Five is approaching. And three fenced out nine point three. No other much. Uh, one's leaving the pattern. Uh, orbit waypoint five angel six. Sorry, waypoint two angel six. Five initial.
five is settled for right. And fenced out four point two. Storage bin. Did you just speak Russian? Say stay. Uh, two, six point four, three, eight point six, five, four point one. Okay, I'm kind of waiting. To, I've asked Harry if he can get some screenshots from the ground of us, please, and respond. No, I think we should call it. Yeah, uh, I think yeah, it's late. Uh, I'm in August, Angel 6 of the Tiger Plane. And Flight Region. Yeah. Set Takan, 2-1 X-ray. I did not expect this to go as serious as it did after our briefing. This was serious. Yeah, kind of. The, the uh, bombing run kind of was. Low level was good. Yeah, so sure enough. Can't wait till Dave's video comes up. <laughs> yeah. Like highlights, mate. Yeah, clip it, exactly. Copy, leaving some space. Okay, one has runway in sight. We get our approach for runway zero five. Flight go wedge. How do you want the wedge? Uh, three, four left. Copy. Some three passing on the right. Three saddle. Runway heading again to three zero, I think. 
I think that's what I remember. I just measured it once and I think it was straight on. No, um, they're usually rounded to the nearest 10, right? Yeah, but I think in this case it's pretty uh, spot on. Yeah, like if you set 050, zero zero, it's like you're not going to be off. It's not like Anderson where it's like four. Uh, what is it, runway 1734? No. No, it's uh, zero 06 and the magnetic That's heading it. is uh, zero 06. Six. So a six degree off yeah. actually should be zero 07. Mm. I don't know why they've done that. Yeah, I, it, it moves. Uh, we have that issue currently at Zurich Airport and we're thinking about uh, changing the runway names, but it's just so much work for little game. Mm. Yeah, because the magnetic field is shifting in the earth. Yeah, exactly. It used to be okay, but now it's it's like seven degrees off. Yeah, so if it's wow. for those. It actually shifted a lot in the last year. Yeah, Canada is suffering from this one. Yeah, Canada is heavy, yes.
No, I mean you didn't say you were breaking, you were just turning it. Oh. I wasted some seconds trying to analyze. <laughs> ah. Sorry, man. Why is there like three taxiways and then nothing for a mile? I don't know why they chose this airfield, I think it's shit. Uh, I, so, I much prefer Aquatory. Can we put a bunch of spots down there? We can. I don't know, yeah. I prefer like the textures. The, all of the models of stuff at Aquatory are nicer. But it's a nicer. In my opinion, it's a nicer looking airfield. But the environment is nicer up here. Mm. I think an island, you know, it can just give you a limited amount of ranges and stuff like that. I mean, it doesn't take long to fly up here from Cyprus. Yeah, but I'd rather be a close. Ah, uh, chocolate. I think there are also some mountains and stuff. Cyprus. Five is worse now. Final.
I might have just a bit more stop rolling. Or your strobe is still on. And your formation. Five is vacated. Did I just say Alpha? Yep. Never mind, we're the only people here. <laughs> we can be glad about that, considering the whole flight. Yeah, that break was nasty. Maybe we need to do some touch and goes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's why we have the V1 session, right? One nose <laughs> says break. You'll break. Yeah, sorry. I got a little bit zony out of towards the end. Yeah, it's a long flight. I don't want to know what the time is, honestly. Uh, it's half nine UK. Ten, uh, 40 minutes. Oh, that's not bad. But I wanted to fly the mother end of it. <laughs> you can do it now. Ready for Chris yeah, to call in six tomorrow at work. <laughs> It is an option. I'm sure it will be. My boss is on vacation, so it might be a good op opportunity. It's my last day for a holiday, so... Piece up. Oh. No. No. Oh, that's right. I can't do that. I can't do it now. Do that. Those people, that's 